sticker is circle shell. And this speech title is Leadership to Me. How to translate it? To me, it's important. Would you like to hear the English version or speak Chinese? Huh? English. I don't want to. That we step here said we are not supposed to jump in roads, so this is just a waste of time. But still, I want to introduce you that uh, this is a good version of jumping rope. It's heavy, and this is a bad version because it's, the weight is too light. You can have a look. <laughs> All right. Why I gotta bring jumping rope? Because I have two assigned topic. First is what is my leadership style? What I'm planning to bring us our club, whoever I plan to bring us to. And second is jumping rope. Someone asked me to demonstrate jumping rope here, which is not possible. So. A project for that. <laughs> so let's uh, limit this to leadership stuff. The thing is, I don't really have any leadership stuff because, as I mentioned in the previous speech, that I'm terrible at this. So instead, I'm going to show you a story about the true leader, I believe. My mind, which is my ex manager. His name is Lorenzo. He is a Mexican. He has a weird sense of humor, but he is quite cool. He is a nice guy. One time he visited Taiwan, and I go out with him with our team leader. So it's three of us. And we go for dinner. We during that dinner, we have a chat. My Team leader was complaining about that uh, her daughter never want to study and she will definitely fail for the big test, high school to university. Then here, my ex manager smiled and said a story. My ex manager was a straight A student. He studied in Stanford. And there was one time when he was at uh, junior high, he failed to be straight A, he got like a 70 or 80. And his mom outraged about it. It's like, oh, you are ashamed of our family. How dare you? You're like a black sheep or something. And he fell back, he said, well, you know, that built up a construction company construction industry, which building house for people. And he did well, he made wealthy life, so why bother I have to do so well in classes? I don't see the point. Then his father said nothing. But the other day in the morning, when they are having breakfast, his father said, I already requested a day off for you. You don't have to go to school today. Instead, you are following me to our construction field. So he actually took my ex-manager to the construction field, moving bricks with those workers, having falling dabi with supervisors, having their lunch under the sun. Then after the whole day, when they are driving ahead back home, he asked my manager, he asked Lorenzo, to say, so, if you do not study hard, which is okay, because you got to understand what you choose. You got to understand the reality about your decision. It's a wonderful story. But what? 
products that has anything to do with my leadership. The type of uh, leadership I and intend to make is just like that. I have to admit, I'm very control free. I want, and it's not why you agree so fast. I want everything to be conducted as I expect. But that's my problem, and I understand it. So having this leadership is also my challenge. The kind of leadership I want to build up is I need to learn to trust you. I know that you have your point of view, and I trust you. I actually trust you can do your best. Even sometimes, the way is not fit my preference, which still should be okay. So this is not only about the trust. Taking this kind of leadership is also a part of my training. So here, I'm going to ask you, if I outrage it, if I stop listening to what you are saying, if I try to interrupt your work, if I cross that freaking line, please remember me for this speech, because I very likely will forget it. And that's is the kind of leadership I want to build up. So, hope you all like this as everything I have come up because as you know, I don't have much experience about leadership. So let me just uh, learn from the progress, learn from all of the first master of the I'm looking forward to your next jumping rope. <laughs>